Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we will see how to use scroll trigger, which is provided by GSAP in your website. So if you don't know what a scroll trigger is, so let me just quickly show you an example. So there are a lot of examples in Greensock website. You can see all of them. So it is a code pen, and you can see this is the website. And if I just scroll. You can see there is a very beautiful parallax effect or you can ski or you can say a scroll effect so this is achieved with the help of scroll trigger which is pro provided by gsap let's take a look at another example so this is also a great example and uh, let me just show you what it does and as you can see if i'm just scrolling so here you can see on the right hand side there are some markers so you can see as soon as it start aligns with this line here so let's take a look so as you can see here as you can see it is perfectly aligned and now it will start animating this car so as you can see the car is moving so this is how you can uh, use scroll trigger so in this video we will see exactly how to do this and after learning how to use scroll trigger you can create animations like this or even better than this so there are a lot of use cases of this scroll trigger so let's see how it is done and how you can use scroll trigger in your website so i'll just quickly close this website over here and head over to our vs code so let's create our boilerplate and let's write some html first all right so first of all i will write a heading in which i will simply write heading nothing else and then i will make a paragraph so inside this i will write logram 100 and then repeat this couple of times just to you know fill the website and uh, to not feel empty and here i will insert an image so now this image we will animate this image with the help of scroll trigger and what image i will be using i will use this image so let me just show you what this is image uh, here it is so this is the image of a burger and let's close, close this so after all this our html let's write some css also okay not a lot just a little bit so first of all i will write margin zero padding zero as well and then i will write h1 let's say font size so i will increase the font size to 4 rem and then i will write margin let's say 5 rem 0 5 rem 0 and also let's say text line center that's it and here uh, i will target all the divs also so i will change the font size of the divs or you can say the paragraphs and also i will give it some margin so let's say 10 rem 0 10 rem so i am giving the margin in y-axis just to fill the website so let's click on go live and let's see what is our website is looking like so as you can see our website is looking something like this and here this is our image so here i will just animate this so whenever i will come to this image the image will you know animate and you can also set your animation whatever you want so let's start with our gsap scroll trigger animation so to do that we first have to insert some cdns so Come to your browser and search for cdn.js so click on this first link and this is the website where you can find like almost all the cdns which is used in javascript so here search for gsap and as you can see there is our gsap link click on it and here you will find some cdns so copy this first link and this is the exact link which we will be pasting in our script tag so here in the src just paste it and one more cdn we have to copy uh, which is scroll trigger so click on scroll trigger and there it is click on copy and same thing script src and paste it here and in this one uh, you have to do some changes so after this libs write gsap slash 3.12.2 whatever the current version is available and then slash and then remove this from here okay remove this 
that's it now you are done with all the cdn part and now let's write the real javascript code for our scroll trigger so i'll create a script tag so in gsap you have to create a timeline which you can then use to animate any element or any object in your html file so what i will do i will write let tl it is a random variable name you can give it any anything so i will write gsap dot timeline okay this is the uh, this is the variable which we will be using to animate our element or you can say the image so then i will write tl dot two and uh, inside this it will take two arguments first of all then the id of the element so here i will write hashtag img and i know i haven't given this id so let's just give this as uh, id is equal to img and this means that i have to like animate or trigger this image right here okay so don't forget to write the exact same id here and then the second argument what it takes it is an object so this object in here it will take some values the first value is scroll trigger itself so here i will write here scroll trigger that's it and in this it will take some it is an object so it will take some more arguments inside scroll trigger you have trigger okay which is just have to write the same thing image so don't worry about it i will just tell you later on what it means but uh, for now just write the hashtag image here also and then it takes start so here start let's write top center okay just write it i will explain you when i will show you and here also write bottom so end here also bottom and center and then two more which is scrub true and marker is also true so these five you can say arguments you have to write inside this scroll trigger so don't worry i will explain you what these mean and after this uh, outside the scroll trigger you have to write what your image will go to so here what i mean if i just write x and then give it a value of let's say 100 vw so that means whenever i will end end the animation i want this image of a burger to be here okay because i have given the x value to 100 vw so instead of the 100 let's say 90 okay and also so let's just see what it means so i'll just save it so after writing this you can see our scroll animation is there so if i just scroll it you will see the effect so i am scrolling and here as you can see it, the images start moving and it will go to the x equals 90 vw so it will go to the left value of 90 vw so here so yep, as you can see now it has stopped and it will stick right there and if i just scroll upwards now it will go in reverse so you can see how cool it is and let me just reduce it to 80 vw and also uh, it is markers okay so make sure to write s that's why we cannot see those markers so this is what i am talking about these are the markers which you can use to accurately like uh, animate your object so you can see the if i just you know scroll and whenever this start aligns with this scroll start then only this animation will start so as you can see and whenever this end will align with this scroll end the animation or the scroll animation will stop so you can play with this values you can play this these values to increase the animation speed or whatever you want so let me just oops so let me just show you what i mean if i just instead of this stop i will write let's say zero percent okay it will not affect anything because zero percent or you can say start it is the same thing let me just reload the page so as you can see it will not do anything but if i just change it to let's say minus 100 percent 
so let's see now what will happen so as you can see here the start is way up here so that's how you can use this value to you know uh, like time your animation or how fast how slow you want your animation if you want your animation very quick you can do something like this so this is zero percent and this is let's say 20 percent so now if i just go to the website you can see the start and end are very close so what will happen now if i just scroll you can see the animation is very fast and that's why you can play with these values and also this one so this the first value is for uh, these values start and end and the second values are for this scroller start and scroller end you can use you can change this also so if i just write zero percent here and hundred percent here so let's see what it will look like you can see the scroll start is way up here and the scroll end uh, like you cannot see it even so so i guess the scroll end is out of page so you know what instead of this image over here i will write hashtag body and let me explain you what it means first of all i will give i have to give this id to our body let's save it and instead of this 100 i will write zero percent in end also and here what i will write from to start i will give it 10 percent and to end i will give it let's say um 60 percent okay so let's save it and see what it looks like so yeah so now as you can see the start and end are both at the top and our this start you can see if you can barely see here there it is and if i just scroll here it will start and then where is our end so our end is right here so the end is way down so let me just reduce the value so let's say 30 percent i think this will be great so let's see now so start and then end okay so that's how you can use scroll trigger to animate anything in your website based on scroll animations so it, so it will make your website way cooler and more modern like design which a lot of website are nowadays using this exact scroll trigger animation so i hope you enjoy this video and uh, if you don't know what this scrub means so this is let me just you know remove this and let's see what will happen now so you can see let me just reload the page so if you just you can see the start is over here and uh, if you just start the animation you can see the animation is instant so to make it smooth to make the animation smooth you have to use scrub and if you just don't want to see these markers you can just you know remove them and uh, you can see now the markers are gone so let's just add one more uh, attribute over here which is rotate so in rotate i will write 360 degree and uh, let's see so let's see what our animation is looking at so as you can see whenever it will start it will rotate and move in x direction simultaneously so using this scroll animation you can create like a ton of animations more complex even simpler ones so whatever you like you can create in this scroll taker with uh, which is provided by gsap that's it for this video guys i will see you in the next one